Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I am joined by the regular crew tonight, Christian and Anna. What up? Good evening. And I'm Lucas. How are you, though? So, uh, I guess, sure. Greater cool. than chance possibility. So, yeah, so we uh, we switched nights. We're on Thursday nights now, so that gave us two more days to prepare. So, luckily, uh, we're, we're now super prepared for uh, doing the figure tonight, whereas we wouldn't have been if it was Tuesday. Right, Anna? Yeah, we needed that time. We needed that time to do nothing in order to prepare. It was it was very important. Yes, yes. So. Guys, I think we've actually all had these two for a while, right? We yes. have, yes. Yes. Good question. Yes, yeah. we've had, I've had both of these since December, yeah. Have you had both of them since September? Just, ah. Uh, the month. 12th month, yes. Yeah, it's been a while. I've not had them quite that long. I've had, I've had a paleo checks for a while, but I haven't had a fur to break that long. I don't even remember where I got Vertebrae from. I know uh, Paleotrex, I think, was Big Bad Toy Store. Yep, my Vertebrae came from Amazon. I think it was Amazon. I think I got them all from there. Because they, they got an early shipment of Legends in December. Yeah. And BBTS got them pretty early, too. But then I think they sold through them. But then now they, I don't know, it seemed like that they all the Kingdom stuff has uh, shown up at like my Walmart and target both. I, I don't know. I mean, I, obviously everyone's different with, you know, what's, what's showing up at their stores, but I seems like most of these are, are around. Randall <laughs> keeps saying we've covered these before. We have it, right? No, like we, I, we have we're not, not losing no, we, our minds, are we? Okay, cool. I mean, we can cover <laughs> different dinosaurs, so. No, these are the dinosaurs we're covering because I don't do have you, that other you one. Cover another, oh, cast. Okay. Hey, I, we'll we'll get yours here in by tomorrow. By Should a mysterious tomorrow. number of days equal to one to a million. Oh, there you go. Randall thinks that there was a discussion during book club. So I'm sure it know. was. I'm sure it was because I've I've talked about my love of goofy crap every week during book club. That's the bonus you get for attending book club is you get to listen to me talk about my love of goofy yeah. crap. What? One day when my Sunday commitment ends, I will join book club and it'll surprise all of you. Good. You'll drop some knowledge bombs on us. I'll go. <laughs> it's me. That's right. One day. Sounds violent. A little. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't at least a little. So which one of these two dinosaur friends do we want to discuss first? Let's do vertebrae little... first. Yay. Little one. This is vertebrae. And she has an awesome name. Okay. And it's a name reuse. We got it in Prime. Yeah, I didn't cool. realize that Vertebrae had been used before yeah. until like yesterday. I was like, it's ah. a super cool name for another tiny female Dinobot, similar to Slash. Maybe they're the same person. Maybe Slash died. And Maybe Slash died. Oh, fossil no. dinosaur. I I, really... I find it interesting that every new Legends class like female dinosaur. They're just, or every Legends class dinosaur like new character is coming out. They're making it a female. Two for two. I want to. I would like to see like a female that's a deluxe class, like a dinosaur. As with many of us. Well, there's several other deluxe deluxe uh, fossilizers coming in this line. Okay, so that's what it was. In, in book club, I was I was happy to apparently having a big gender reveal party for Vertebrae. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Vert I mean, I think it's come out officially that she's female, but she yeah. looks female, so we, we were all like, just kind of assuming. It's kind of a semi-official thing where they announced it during the unboxing event. So anyone who was at the unboxing event was all like, hey, I got the super knowledge now that I know. This is a girl dinosaur. So, Anna, what did yeah. you do for your gender reveal party? I told everyone this was a girl oh, dinosaur. Okay. Did you set a forest on fire? I didn't <laughs> set a forest on fire. I didn't blow up my house. I didn't do anything horrific. 
Oh, uh, well, that's just that's really too bad. Doesn't, doesn't sound like fun at all. Mm-mm. I just said they used woman pronouns for the dinosaur. That was it. It was a it was a big big conversation. But here she is. She's like a skeleton of a Dilophosaurus or some sort of Hadrosaur, something like that. A something. Something. She's got a, a hooked a bird-like mouth. I'm not sure if that's a herbivorous or carnivorous trait. I'm not an expert in dinosaurs. But she's neat. She's got a little skeleton. Very frightening. Grr, grr, grr. Hollowed out eyes that haunt you. It's great. Very haunting. Very eyes. Tiny arms. Grr, tiny arms. They don't move, but they're there. I have to say I'm really excited to get our first Beast Wars basic in like 25 years. Well, she came out with Rat Trap, too. They're both... No, both I meant that first. this feels like a Beast Wars basic to me. Oh. It really does. It, like, it got that same feel to me. That just, like, very simple, very satisfying small toy that comes out with a good degree of detail and possibility. <laughs> uh, Randall said comparison. the uh, the type of dinosaur, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I, I'm always horrible about that. Like, e- even with... The little pronunciations, like in books and stuff, I'm just not good. Is it Diplodocus? I, I can't see comments. No, it's it's a different word. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, Anna and I both don't want to uh, tackle cool. it. So. Yeah, that's Anna, right. Anna, you a doctor. You, should, you have to know Latin, right? Oh, yeah, I definitely have to know all the dinosaur names in psychology. You know what I teach dino psychology? <laughs> Every third uh, year, well, I have to talk about dinosaurs. Hey, that would sorry, be Randall. I can't class. see comments, or else I would I would attempt it. Well, that's good. I really want to, but I don't want to, so I'm not. Yeah. Cool. Well, she's so that kind of dinosaur. dinosaur. It's a fun. So I, we haven't like uh, reviewed Rat Trap. I'm not sure if we will, but like of these Legends class figures, like which ones like do you like the most? Like, do you like this better than Rat Trap or worse? I like them both in different ways. Like, Rat Trap is really good as a toy, but I really enjoy having this new character in this new form with this awesome name reuse. Fair that enough. makes sense. I, I skipped Rat Trap so far, I think. And um, I've only got in this one, but I really like this one, so... This is what I like to see. I like to see new characters. I like little toys. I was a bit disappointed when I first received Vertebrae. And this is totally on me. It's just a Christian's experience story. Uh, Since she's a skeletal dinosaur on the Predacon team, I kind of assumed that she was a fossilizer like Paleotrex and Ractonite the other ones that are coming out soon in the, in the sense that she would break apart and form, Mm -hmm. you know, a weapon or two. She does not. She's just, just her own self, which is fine. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Christian breaks apart and there's a weapon. So form the rest of her into something. Then go You go right ahead. I'd be happy. The rest of her is formed into something. No, it's time to make the dino ass cannon. It's not time to do that. Wait, what? I, I promise it's not time to do that, Anna. <laughs> it has never, ever been time to do that. Uh, it's already done. I like the head sculpt on the, well, I don't know if we're like to the um, alt mode, but the, uh, the head looks cool. Yeah, it's got cool goggles sculpted in. I think that's a great mm-hmm. look. And I like, I mean, that they painted part of the face, too. You know, I mean, you never know, especially with the new character, what they're going to (laughs) do. And her tail does come off, like Lucas mentioned, and she holds it as a whip. That's a Beast Wars thing. That's a very Beast character thing where they have their tails as whips because they don't put them anywhere else. But she she doesn't. At least hers is kind of, like, scary because it's a skeleton tail. Yeah. Yeah, skeleton tail. And she's, you know, like Anna mentioned, she's a, a Beast Wars basic, just now new. 
She's got the articulation you would expect from something this small. Really, the only articulation that you would want that she doesn't have is a hip swivel. She's got a little bit because of ball joint, but not much because of ball joint. Seems like the ankles have a little more um, articulation in them than Rat Trap. They look like they do. I haven't played with Rat Trap, so mm-hmm. oh, I'm not sure. There. A little bit. Dino Ass Cannon. Just a little bit. Pew pew. All right, See? close enough. It's got a hole, and it comes out of the butt. It goes pew pew. Great. It's a, it's a fossilizer now. I knew it. That solved everything about this toy for me. Yay. See, I can save toys. But uh, yeah, surprisingly, she does have head articulation because this piece of the head is on a ball joint. It's a bit limited because of the sculpt. But you can you can get it to do stuff. And I say surprising because it's in this assembly right here that kind of rotates the entire middle of the body in and out. And so they could have just put that put the head and neck on that so it was like a swivel and didn't move around at all. And uh, they didn't, so it's nice. Not much to say, just pretty con. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a pretty simple figure. Yeah. Like you said, it's got good articulation. It is missing wrist and a waist. But that's it. Right, but I mean, wrist. it's a Legends class figure, too. It, so. Right, you can't really grade it on the same curve. Yeah. No, you really can't, even though, like, in some ways I want to, because I want to be like, you know, it's small, but it as articulated as everything else, therefore it's cheap, but whatever, it comes out fine. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, we don't usually get toys that are this articulated in the size, unless you're like me and you buy third-party legends, which are way more money. So, you know, baiting for the buck, it's pretty good. Yeah, for for I'm ten bucks, core class, it's not bad. I'm hoping core class does more figures like this, because right now it seems like besides small G1 dudes, and in a at least half beast line. I feel like we should have some more beast characters, and there aren't any. I agree. In the first two waves. So, like, the core class, I, I kind of am, am not sure on it. Like, I think it's nice to have some of the small characters, like, for, um, that are cheap, like, for kids to pick up at the store, you know? Like, if they're like, hey, mom, I want an Optimus Prime. Like, you can go pick one up for 10 bucks that is, an, you know, kind of a neat little figure. Um, but at the same time, like, I, I kind of wish it was like, you're getting more of the, like, you know, mini bots or just whatever kind of stuff instead, but I don't know. Yeah. I'd rather that $10 Optimus stay in like the Authentics line. I know those aren't off yeah. at you know, Walmart Target, but they you know could be. It's so, true. I don't want those, but I do want more of these. I would yes. much rather have this than two MicroMasters. Cause like, I, if I leave a MicroMaster, I don't agree I'm with that. Huh? I don't agree with that. Good. That's fine. Especially because this class replaces Micromasters and Battlemasters. I, Both I of those would are gone say now. that I like this just because it has better articulation than yeah. the Micromasters. Like, that was really my main gripe with those. So That's true. This is a better figure than Micromasters, but I wanted them to finish my teams. I like I'm a to Micromaster keep figures, dude. So. I like to keep figures of this size around to play with. And when I keep the MicroMasters to play with, they're, they offer absolutely no satisfaction. Like, they're not fun to play with. They're about, you know what I've been playing with most of my desk lately is this hand. This is about as fun as a MicroMaster to play with on my desk while I'm teaching. I'm so, really curious, like, untrue. with the sales figures, like, how well these are going to sell compared to the MicroMasters. Because, like, the one thing I'll say is, like, I do not feel like that those MicroMasters sold well at all. Like, I think the only people buying them were people like us. And I and I feel like that, you know, you want to sell those smaller figures to kids and, and whatever. And I just, I never saw, you know, any kids buying them. And it, they just seem to peg warm. They're just not... <sighs> I mean, like I've said a billion times with the MicroMasters, I believe literally on the first time we ever recorded anything for this between Lucas and I, I think I said this exact same thing. And it's that MicroMasters, what they were back in 1842 when we got the first ones, were impressive. It was so cool to have something that small 
that looked pretty much like a car and pretty much like a robot. You change it back and forth quickly with your little tiny child hands, and it was neat. That's not the same level at this point. Like compared to the figures we have now, these aren't impressive. The MicroMasters are just kind of like bleh. Yeah, I mean, you're not, I don't disagree with that. I just also miss them. Why don't you it's, miss them? That's it's a totally purely right. neat thing. <laughs> but I like the, the I, think, I just I'd rather I think play the with legends this. are a better value, but. I don't think they needed to have replaced MicroMasters and Battlemasters. I want to play with a bunch of these. I would love it if we got, like, you know, if they just started, like, remaking Beast Force Basics. I'd be totally fine with Sign that. Sign me up. Right. You know, turn that rat trap into a Razor Beast or something? I would love that. Sure. I'll take it. And I want Razor Beast. I hope I just conjured that into being. I'll try. <laughs> I'll take this in purple, too, if they want to make this in random purple like they did, paleo tracks, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Vertebrake is cool. Go get her. Or I hope she gets fiction. I hope she gets fiction, too. Maybe she'll show up in the new Beast Wars book, or I was about to say she'll show up in the Kingdom show, but she won't. I hate the fact that the, the Micromasters, we went two lines with those toys, and they didn't get any fiction. Mm-mm. It sucks. Why, why would you want to, you know have those types of things like in the fiction come on they're too cheap <laughs> can't have cheap stuff in the fiction yeah. 20 dollars and up that made me so mad about the show <laughs> it's All a right, bummer so, so paleo tracks what, what do you guys think about uh... neat idea not good execution for a christian so I think that the robot mode on Paleo Tracks like looks like hot garbage, and I actually think that the alt mode like I, I don't think I'm ever going to put mine well you know whatever maybe tonight but like uh, back into robot mode like I actually think the Dino mode looks really cool and, it does. and like I, I like the weathering on it and that they did and everything but like and I, I guess creepy face yeah, yeah I mean, it's I so creepy it's, I like it. I guess you could just make them as an accessory to Primal, but... The main issue I have with this figure, it does articulate really well because it's got, you know, parts that come off and everything. I don't think these parts come off in a way that makes sense to reform into a different mode. Uh Does that... Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Like, like the... uh, the weaponizers and the modulators, they all kind of came apart in ways that you could like, oh, it recombines this way and it makes this thing. It, this is completely weird. Which is good and, and mostly bad, though. Yeah, it's very, I agree. I, like, I, I don't remember how to put this into alt mode well, anymore. The, the weaponizers, too, like, there was just a lot of, like, fan modes you can make. And, I mean, I guess, like, I've seen online, like, some people have made these into fan modes. Uh, using like two or three of the figure, um, but like I don't, I don't really see that as much. Like, and I, I just don't feel like it's the same as like the weaponizers, where you can put those on a, you know, like various figures. Right. Like I just, I don't feel like you're gonna do quite do the same thing with this. Like, but I will say at the same time, I mean, I think it'll be cool to have a, you know, a bunch of like fossils like a little collection of them of because what are they probably going to make you know whatever four of them or three of them and they're and then no at least two more yeah three would be the trend so they could have sold this to me in a really cool way and they still might sell this to me in a really cool way you know how in the spoiler no yes but (laughs) you know how in the spoiler packs from the netflix series they had those energon cubes buried in the play-doh Mm-hmm. If they broke this up and buried it in Play-Doh or sand or whatever, and it was like a, the excavation set, and you got to excavate the parts and put it together, I think that would be awesome. Because broken really up like, like that, that, it looks really cool. Yeah. Like, this feels like a really awesome experiential toy. Like, if you're a parent out there listening to this, get a payload truck to go break it apart and put it in your kid's sandbox and have them unearth it, and they will love it. That would be really fun, actually. I want that badly because it's, well, it's I, a, I don't know a if cool they would experience. easily be able to form that into a dinosaur mode though. Cause I, I had a hard time 
and uh, <laughs> couldn't do it on my own. I had to look at the instructions, but there really needs to also be a treasure map you dig up that tells you how to make the dinosaur mode. Also known as the instructions. It comes with it. Yes. It comes <laughs> with says no more toys and play doh. You know, this is the only time I think I would make an exception to that. With the fossil things, I think it would be neat. They're maybe not Play-Doh, or maybe something else. I, yeah, Play-Doh might be too dense, but something where you get to dig through and pick up the bones and like, oh, that's the bones you put. That's me. That's me wanting to have fun as a kid. Wanting to have fun is totally fine. I was going to say, I, I feel like in general, this is like a total Anna toy, though. So, Anna, what, what do you think? Uh, well, okay. So you want to just, like, break it down like that, do you? Well, let me tell you. The dinosaur mode, I like it a lot. You know, it's it's honestly, like, just a little bit repetitive to have the first two skeletons I've gotten be a very similar form dinosaur. You know, the quadruped with the tiny arms and the big head. You know, both of them are that. I know they're different dinosaurs, but... You know, they even both have the tail pop off and become a little, eh, yep. <laughs> fade. Um, so that's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer that it's a little bit repetitive that, you know, we've had both of them at the same time. But that dinosaur mode is really cool. It looks good. You can have different Transformers ride it, and it's fun. It's got good details. It's got good posability. I have no complaints with it. The robot mode is so weird. I love it. Like, this is a mana toy. Like, the only problem I have with it is it doesn't actually have ankle tilt. It has, like, a little bit under the knee tilt. As you can see, mine's doing this weird-ass pose where it's breaking its legs. That's the tilt there, right? That's all you get. So the joints are in strange places. I can actually transform this thing. It's not super intuitive to transform, really, but... I do agree with both of you. Well, something you guys didn't say, but I felt like you almost inferred or you almost got there, was just saying that one problem with this compared to the weaponizers is when you break it up, instead of forming into different weapons, it forms into nothing. Like, I don't really feel like I can pop off these lower legs and be like, no, it's cannons for whoever. It forms into dinosaur bones. Like, this is a cannon, apparently. No, I'm sorry. That's not going to fly. Yeah, this just looks gross. It's just like this weird thing that you're holding up. Now, let me do some really funny things with Cuff, but that was about it. But I do, like, I enjoy this thing. I enjoy the fact that it's, like, a completely not normal form transformer. You know, it's not a normal humanoid form. It's weird. It's different. It does its own thing. It has a really cool head sculpt. I know it's a weird head sculpt, but I really like the whole, like, knight helmet that opens up and has a creepy monster face mm. and is itself a skull. Like, that's neat. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's, I think it's an homage to the mutant heads from Beast Wars. I think it is, too. And I think it works really well. And I'm mean, sure whatever, the primal mace, blah, blah, who cares? It's a cool toy by itself for me. Yeah, it's got that that weird lanky thing. You can't really see it because I got my arms posed that way, but like there's his full length arm. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. Really long. Here, it's like, oh, he's got like hands. It's like normal. Nope. But that's no, okay. No, it's monstrous. It's, it's a creepy monster dude. Yeah, so far my fiction for these are that they're basically like undead spirits of fallen dinosaurs or robots or robot dinosaurs. I hope they get fiction so we can get something like that. That'd be nice. Because I just, I don't think this is a normal person. I don't think this is just like a normal person walking around Cybertron. I think this is you know, a monster person. In the, the toy bios from the original Beast Wars series, it, and in the show uh, to a more limited extent, it's stated and implied that Megatron is this weird mad scientist dude and keeps trying to create nonsense like he created the mutants because he was trying to make transformers have multiple modes and they ended up having two beast modes and no robot modes so maybe megatron experiments on something and creates and these guys become you know only partial transformers because they turn into the skeletons and not the full thing i don't know something give me something with them i agree randall said in the chat that paleo doesn't like to stand i agree 
these feet are not made for standing. These feet are made for something, and I don't know what they're made for. Cannons. Now, an excellent way to get paleo tracks to stand is to just take the legs off. Grab a piece of bluish green trash. And ta-da! Legs. <laughs> there you go. It's a miracle of five millimeter ports. All you have to do is sacrifice your entire cup figure so that this thing can have lower legs. And it's perfect. The proportions are better. See, the arms aren't quite as long. No, they're just as long. I don't know if that's better. It's better. <laughs> it's something. So Paleotrex is kind of neat. You can form a couple cool weapons. Like you can make an axe out of his shoulder, which is cool. The axe is um, a thing. That's true. The axe is a good thing. The The mace of, out of the skull is pretty cool. Yeah, the, ma- the mace You can make a little kind of tiny fun. shield out of his chest. And the rest of it's kind of like... Uh, I guess you can form the other arm into like a lance, which is neat-ish. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like the, the play pattern works as well with this one in a lot of ways. I don't feel like it does. But then again the creative monstrosities people have been making on the internet are really cool, but they do seem to require a lot of paleo trucks. Like you just need a little bag of paleo trucks to put together. Well, yes, but Hasbro would be more than happy to sell you a bag of paleo trucks. So I'm really hoping that everyone hates this figure and it goes in super clearance. So I can buy a bunch cheap and make an army of death. I might get two or three more so I can form one of the big, big old guys. Anderson I want an army does of like death to have things. an army of death. That's what Anna's all about. It is. It is. I would. I want a robot necromancer leading an army of zombies and dead dinosaurs. And it looks like I'm getting that in recent figures. Like a third of the line is dead at this point. That is true. We've got skeleton dinosaurs. And we've got two zombies from the cartoon coming. So I'm pretty <laughs> pumped. Is it two? It's two, oh, right? It's two. I forgot. I think I is I this right? About the Ironhide one. Did I do this right? Close enough. I Close think it's right. Enough. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the robot. I totally forgot the so, uh, the so Ironhide cheeky. one was coming out. Yeah, I'm super excited because I mean, all I have to do is get a few of each of them, and I have an undead army of Transformers. That is super cool. <laughs> Assuming these guys are undead, which I do make that assumption. I would assume, I mean, it's a skeleton. Quite readily. I make that assumption. I don't mind. I think it would be almost more interesting if they chose to be skeletal instead of fully formed for some reason. Like, the fossilizers are a third faction that don't play by the rules. I don't know. Like, the mutants, I guess. Yeah, that that would be, that could be fun. Or they could make it really boring and just be like, they're a third faction that hangs out at a museum. You think, man, that's a pretty good place to be in disguise. It's true. It's true. It's nice and active during the day, quiet at night. It's like the museum, Transformer style. My Beast Wars movie, in my mind, is that at the museum at a zoo. That is my Beast Wars movie. Okay. Mm. I'd go watch it. I would love it. It would be great. <laughs> so it's like Night at the Museum plus Madagascar? Kind of, yeah. Cool. Yeah, lots of talking animals, lots of silliness, but they're also Transformers. Well, if it's so, Anna, a live action movie, they could do some more silliness. Are you going to be the opposite of everyone else, where like everyone is going to be collecting the like core Beast Wars figures, which you'll skip and then only get these types of figures? Yup, I don't have a single one of the core Beast one Beast Wars figures from this line so far, but I have all the new people. I thought you got Primal. What? No. What? He's so good. Not even I'm Black sure. Arachnia? Nope. Nope. She's and I actually so feel good. guilty about that one. That one's bothering me. Because I usually buy all the girl robots. Just buy the her representation. Yeah. I mean, it's, just, it's a really easy problem to solve. I know, but I don't need another Black Arachnia in my life. I'm hoping they make her into any other spider lady. Hmm. Right. Animated colors, colors or RC colors would be great. 
The anime you mean the eraser? About the spider eraser? No, air razor, air razor. Oh, yeah, of course I'm getting air razor. She doesn't have a toy in my mind. Nice. I don't have air razor. That's the thing. I don't have original Beast Wars air razor. So I will get her. Even though she did have a toy, I just don't have it. I had one back in the day, but both of its wings were chewed off by a dog. So I never enjoyed it like other figures. <laughs> was not a very convincing bird. So, I don't know that I can fully recommend Paleo Tracks. Like, I want to. It's nifty in, a, like, a novelty kind of way. Yeah. But I think it kind of falls short as an actual Transformers figure. I agree, Christian, on that 100%. This thing is for, like, people like me. If you like really weird crap, if you've seen the pictures of this thing, if you've seen me messing with it and you're like, ooh, that's actually really fun, yeah, go get one. It's obviously for you. But for everyone else who likes their normal Transformers, it's definitely alt amazing. Mode, alt mode, fantastic. True, like it yeah. looks like a the really fun cool. T-Rex skeleton or some sort of that kind of dinosaur skeleton. So yay. But uh, beyond that... Mm. Here's the thing. Two repaints already. So repaints if you already. don't want this version of it, there's a clear purple one. And there's Transmutate. I feel so, like the Transmutate yeah. like, looks a lot neater. Like I just like... I mean, again, the colors on both of those more... Um, I don't know. Like I appreciate the, the weathering and paint that they did on this. Like I, I think that that looks neat. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not really sure I need this in my life. I don't know. I think this will be my favorite version because I do think I need that in my life. But I'm into undead stuff. So... Having a zombie dinosaur transformer is cool to me. I don't know. It's it's really interesting having this line and Studio Series 86 come out at the exact same time. Because, like, my excitement over, like, opening certain figures versus others. Like, you know, whereas, like, for me, you know, like, I was, you know, I, I got Grimlock in today. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to get, open them right away. And... Like this, when I got it, I was like, eh. Like, I let it sit in the box for a while, and then I, like, finally opened it. And it's just, I don't know. It's not necessarily doing it for me. So, you know, but uh, apparently I found out about myself that I'm, I'm really a G1-er at, at heart. and um, In disguise. Uh, yeah, I, I'm the opposite. I had Scourge for, I think, three weeks before I opened them. I had paleo trucks for, or not paleo trucks, but um, vertebrae for about 30 seconds. Because I was like, this is so cool. I can't wait to open it. It's a little tiny dinosaur. Ah. And I get super excited to open it. It was dead. It was great. I'm excited for Beast Wars and 86. So yeah. it's a great time to be me. It really is. It really is. I don't know if I'll end up with the clear purple Paleo Trex because I don't know what it comes with. We've heard it comes with uh, another Voyager Megatron, right? That's the rumor. I don't think I need another one of those. Oh, I think I man. forgot to buy the G2 one, so maybe I'll just get it. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get the G2 Megatron? I think I forgot to. You definitely should go back and get that one if you still can. Yeah, that one is like probably the best one. It's like Yeah, young I agree with that. Yeah, sell that combat hero Megatron. Like, that thing was hot garbage. I mean, it was fine. Whatever. It's just, of all the okay. ones, I would kick him to the curb first. He's already in my cell pile. Don't worry. I don't even have a reason to get rid of him. I just don't like him. Menthol Megatron did not do it for me. The question he is be whether, fine. whether or not you'd be able to sell him. I don't know. Is he actually going for Does anybody price? want him? I, at least 50 uh, cents. Yeah. Yeah. That one should have been fine. It it wasn't. I don't know why. I can't figure out what the X Factor was. Maybe it was the head. I don't know. So definitely we'll recommend that a vertebrae break unless for some reason you don't like small original design transformers. Right. She's great. Very solid, normal figure. It's the most normal Transformers experience you're gonna have for a long time. It's so like it's so basic and normal and everything's exactly like you expect it to be. And then you get this weirdo. It's, yeah, like, maybe slight recommend because it's nifty, but beyond that. And... Yeah. Yeah. Recommended for me and no one else. 
There you go. I mean, I'm just happy that you're able to get a cup and then, you know. You later. His whole purpose is to give up his legs for this thing. That's like he's been doing it on my shelf for weeks now. Wait, was Paleotrex a girl or a, a female or, you know? I don't know yet. I don't think they've said. I don't think they've said. Hmm. Some people, some people started generating it as a woman the moment that transmutate was announced because they were like, "Oh, well, if transmutates a woman figure, then the thing she's repainted from is too." But that actually is not how robots work. So, yeah, I don't know. They especially have bone blobs. I, I was just curious if Anna was showing off two girls in one cup, but. I don't think so. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, that was old and lewd. God. I always feel like a deviated college. So. All right. So, so anyway. Um. That was a long, <laughs> long way to make that joke. And I need a nap now. It wasn't even that. G- oh, Lucas. I, I, I'm sorry. F- Phil says he's triggered now, so I, I I'm apologize. I'm tired. I apologize to Phil. Um, so, yeah. Awful. Um, we if, all laughed, uh, but it was awful. If you want to uh, <laughs> uh, check out, um, we, we, we talk about on TFYLP this week about how we're fatigued over Transformers. And not necessarily all of us, but some of us are. And uh, how we're going to deal with that. So check that out. That was a lot of fun. Um, And then also Cut the Tape um, should be up Saturday. Um, So um, not sure what uh, what Rick's doing this week. So um and then uh oof unfortunately is taking a hiatus but uh we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with that um so i don't know anna may be uh broadcasting from her basement on saturday mornings who knows that's what i keep saying i'll do but nobody seems excited about that idea you should just do it at 6 a.m right you said 10 but yeah i want to be awake but make, can... make it six you want to while i'm asleep still perfect that'll work really well i'll be at uh, work. book club is finishing up dark dark cybertron everyone's favorite um uh, chapters four through six this week dark cybertron's fine i'm excited for it i'm enjoying it so far it wasn't bad i just want everyone to know you can make this wonderful thing out of cup wait so Anna, like, are are you saying that you like Dark Cybertron more than regular more than meets the eye? So far, I hate the art though. Oh, yeah. The we, art, we all hate the art. The eye part is, ugh. but hey, I'm enjoying the story. There's a lot worse art in IDW than that. <laughs> that gets me so excited. Oh, you won't encounter any of it. Oh, it's already happened by the time where you are. Yeah, I've only lifted the art a little bit in the newer stuff, but it all looks pretty measured. Like, it looks pretty much like it's always okay. It is. It is okay. Yeah. It looks like it never jumps out and it's like, this is amazing, but it's like, eh. Yeah, they, they stopped using the terrible artists before they did the More Than Meets the Eye Robots in Disguise launch. Sorry to call you terrible artist. We know you try really hard. He's not a terrible artist. He's... Pat, pat, pat. A uh, acquired taste. There we go. You don't even know who I'm talking Well, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'm not naming names because they do try, and they are very talented, just not for me. Yep. Yeah. So I was being nice. Give them a pat on a pat on Paleotrex's head. There you go. Which I don't want to actually do because Paleotrex, as I said earlier, does not stand well, even with cups legs. Well, listeners, if you have a request for us, legs. that's weird. I know, right? You think it could? That is weird. Probably because it's too tall. Yeah, I think so. Uh, listeners, if you have a request for us for next week, we're always trying to figure out what to do. It comes down to like the last day every week. So if you have a request, uh, let us know. We'll we'll take it into consideration. I bet you could never guess, but this time they let me pick. 
Okay. Yeah, we did. It's true. It's not, not a big Therefore, deal. Therefore, we did robot skeletons, dinosaurs. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Thanks for everyone in the chat. Um, Randall says Grimlock next week. So there you go. I'll do that. Might be possible. Um, if uh, if the Grimlock shows up, or if Anna's Grimlock shows up, so we will see. Um, anyway, thanks, uh, Randall, Phil, and Catherine and Ron. Appreciate it, guys. And we will see you next week. Yeah, thanks for being here. See ya.